Chance drawn 23, Emre Gorman's mount. Number three, drawn 16, Al Yassaf is blinkered for the first time today. Danny Wright claims a five, and they're 33 to one. Number four is hard to figure, drawn eight, 12 to one, ridden by Ray Cochran. And number five, Everglades, down to seven to one favourite, Willie Carson's mount, drawn four. Number six is Master Planner. That'll be the rail runner on the extreme right as we look at them coming down the track. 14 to 1 chance for Damien Smith, drawn seven, uh, claim to seven. Number seven, Duplicity, 16 to 1, Mark Perrin. Eight, Sir Harry Harbin, 33 to 1, Steve Perks. Number nine, drawn seven to Minuet, 20 to 1, John Lowe. Number 10, Amron, 20 to 1, Nick Carlisle. Number 11 is Master of Passion, Michael Tebbett rides, 33 to 1. Number 12, Castle Ray Ladd, 16 to 1, Willie Ryan's mount, drawn high. Number 13, Venture Capitalist, Blinkered, 16 to 1, John Williams. 14, Miss Vaxette, 40 to 1, Mark Humphreys, claims a 7. 15, Margaret's Gift, 12 to 1, Daryl Holland's mount, drawn 13. Number 16, Palace Gate, Touch Blinkered, 33 to 1, Paul Roberts rides, they claim, he claimed a 7. Number 17, Arabella Jill, 20 to 1, Billy Nunes. Number 18, Farfalu, Visor, 33 to 1, Philip Roberts. Robinson. Number 19, Garnet Valley, 16 to 1, John Carroll. Number 20 is Ecological Drawn, 20 to 1, Kevin Darley, 25 to 1, the odds on offer now. Number 21, Brigade Visor, 40 to 1 for Keith Wetter, 22, First Vale, 40 to 1 for George Duffield, 23, Cumbrian Walser, 20 to 1, Mark Birch, 24, Heavenly Risk, 33 to 1, Mark Gennaro, claims the 7. 25, How's Your Father, 16 to 1, Tony McGlone. Number 26, Petit Dargeon, Jimmy Fortune rides his 20 to 1 chance, drawn 5. Number 27, Green Dollar, 33 to 1, David McCabe. 28, Abigail Blinkard, 33 to 1, Kieran Fallon. Completing the lineup, number 29, Truthful Image, Blinkard, 50 to 1 for Pat McCabe. I've got the hardest working person here today, Jack Barry, six runners in this. I mean, first of all, how would you saddle them all up? 12 to 1 from 16s and uh, master planner again at 12s this time from 14 to 1 venture capitalist also on 12s and margaret's gift is 14 to 1 back from 12 to 1 how's your father is 16 to 1 back from 14s and petit tangent into 16 to 1 opened up at 20s duplicity another 16 to 1 chance 20s bar those now there is everglades going to the start clear favourite at the moment and he's a fresh horse track very shortly who'll be on the winner Max says it's going to be a fast eyed runner GG's got to call them it'll take a minute and ten seconds approximately they're nearly all ready that's it they are already Dominio at the last alert they're lined up for the Ladbroke Air Gold Cup 29 runners across the track they race away and the venture capitalist a little bit slow to go but normally finish with a flourish and they're in two groups and those on the far side uh, include Master Planner Sir, Sir Harry Hardman, uh, Duplicity Everglades is just off the face down the centre of the track. Uh, Abigail is uh, racing fast, also Arabella Jill and Venture Capitalist Petit Dargeon whilst on the stand side. It's uh, Regal Chimes who shares it, Regal Chimes, Palace Gate Touch, Cumbrian uh, Waltz is going to come off the stand side and they come down towards the three and on the left it's Regal Chimes who's really gone fast from Palace Gate Touch and also on the stand side is Miss Vaxed on the far side. Elia Sap, it's uh, there with a chance and so too is uh, with the cross belts Petit Dargeon. They've got a furlong and a half to go and it's the white cap the rail. Petit Dargeon and Elia Sap Everglade starts to open up. Here comes Sir Harry Hardman with a run. Also Brigade not that far away. Uh, right on the stand side Regal Chimes, Palace Gate Touch and Garnet Valley and Truthful Image down the centre of the track but it's hard to figure that's come to dominate and at the line hard to figure and Truthful Image the one two a triple blanket for third venture capitalist Sir Harry Hardman, Amron and uh, How's Your Father all for fourth, third, fourth, fifth and sixth places then Arabella, Jill and Everglades and then behind these Petit Darjon and Master Planner and El Yassaf and Margaret's Gift and Brigade out the back and Farfalu and Master of Passion and Regal Chimes and Garnock Valley and so the result of this, the Labrooks Air Gold Cup, it's gone to number four, hard to figure, in the colours of Mr. J.W. Mercel, trained uh, by Ron Hodges, ridden by Ray Cochran, and it's a very close call for second place, with Truthful Image just uh, shaded there from that angle, but clear here with the white cap, Truthful Image into second place, and then edging forward for third, we have in the red jacket Sir Harry Hardman, uh, Amron is bang there, How's Your Father and Venture Capitalist is also, and it's possibly just Venture Capitalist third from Sir Harry Harbin, How's Your Father and Amron. Then Arabella Jill and Everglades 
and duplicity isn't that far away either. We think that uh, Venture Capitalist has gone third. With the hoop sleeves nearest to us is How's Your Father? Arabella Gell is bang there as well. But hard to figure has won the race. Well done, Ray Cochran. Well done, the Noble Lord. His charity bet this morning. It's the horse's 11th win and its 73rd start. Well done, hard to figure. Limey O'Reilly, Oaks, he's tipped the Air Gold <laughs> Cup winner, and it's his charity <laughs> bet. That'll be on the news. <laughs> well, at halfway, or passing halfway, I dare say Mac, watching, watching the race, even his heart must have been a flutter because there was very little between the two groups. In fact, you could say that the stand side appeared to be in front, certainly from this angle. On the far side, El Yassaf uh, dominating. Uh, this side, it's uh, the uh, very speedy Regal Chimes who's dominated. But now as Regal Chimes weakens, there's nothing left to carry those stand side runners and they play second fiddle to the far side group. Uh, over there, El Yassaf beginning to weaken. A uh, horse who's run extremely well over there, uh, Petit Dargent, showing blinding speed, but she gives way now uh, as hard to figure the grey comes storming through with a tremendous late run under Ray Cochran, really getting behind this old grey and driving him on. Out of the pack also comes the bottom one, truthful image for Paul McCabe, running on strongly. Arabella Jill finishing well. Old Amron, who we thought the ground wouldn't suit, comes too, but it's hard to figure's day. And from the reverse angle, that picture, we think that Venture Capitalist in the pale blue colours has probably shaded third, uh, ahead of the horse on the far side of him, which I think is Harry Hardman. Then fifth, quite probably, is number 25, How's Your Father? And after that, whether it's Alarabella Jill or Everglades, the hot favourite uh, involved in a fight for sixth, uh, alongside number seven, who's nearest to us, to us which is Duplicity. to figure drawn stall eight that was decisive for so many of those low draw numbers back down to 12 to 1 when the noble lord tipped it this morning on the morning line it was 25 to 1 16 to 1 on the course returned the 12 to 1 joint second favorite of three is hard to figure the second truthful image ran a screaming race from stall 17 returned 50 to 1 truthful image it looks as though venture capitalist is third also returned a 12 to 1, 8 to 1 favourite last year when out of the numbers. And it could be the Sir Harry Hardman drawn to his fourth, that's returned at 40 to 1. And they're also mentioning how's your father, that's close up, is a 16 to 1 chance. Well, how often do you get a race when before the race in both the Silver Cup and the Gold Cup, you could rule out a third of the runners? So many punters cottoned onto the reality, left those out and ruled them out. Here's the result of the third. Number 13 is third venture capitalist and Sir Harry Hardman is fourth. So the result again, hard to figure, is returned to 12 to 1. Truthful image of 50 to 1. Venture capitalist at 12 to 1 and the fourth Sir Harry Hardman at 40 to 1. A tremendous result and those who you followed the steps on the draw, you might well have picked up the winner just like the noble lord. Well done, Lord. 25 to 1 for you.